Huh. As of recently, we have a lot of jealous Pokemon around here. Strange. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up, mighty boys and girls? It's your Ranger here, and welcome to another review of Pokemon Journeys. In this week's episode, there's trouble in paradise. Again! But this time, between our main heroes, Ash and Pikachu. With episode 30, the reluctant Pikachu and the exasperated Mr. Mime. First of all, what the hell is going on here? Another video within not even 24 hours? And a Pokegirl tier list coming tomorrow as well? Uh, who are you? And where's Long? Well, let's say that Long received a... <clears throat> motivational speech from me. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Anyway, if you want to know more, if you want to know my opinion, then grab some popcorn, grab some cookies, let's do this and go straight into the rating. What can I say about the story? So to make a quick summary of the entire episode, it's Pikachu being jealous of Riolu because Ash spends more time and attention on training him rather than Pikachu. So just like last week's episode, this week's adventure was also marked by the theme of jealousy. But unlike the Yamper slash Koharu situation, which was really relatable, I didn't understand Pikachu's behavior at all. In my opinion, it's totally understandable why Ash would prefer to, to train Riolu rather than Pikachu, since Riolu is technically still a baby Pokemon who just recently hatched from his egg and barely had any battle experience at all, besides his battle against Galarian Farfetch and his first ever World Tournament battle which he had in this week's episode. But Pikachu really felt like it's the end of the world for him, even to the point where he got overly attached towards Dahlia, who decided to visit Ash, and later on even decided to run away straight towards Ash's home to be with Ash's mom. And and that's all because Ash logically wants to train his more inexperienced Pokemon. I I'll be honest man, I wanted to feel bad for Pikachu, but I really couldn't. Then we had the middle part of the episode which can basically be described as the Pikachu and Mr. Mime adventure, where both travel across the lands while also overcoming numerous obstacles. That part was okay, but also in some parts felt really dragging and a bit stretched out. The thing I want to praise though are the last 5 minutes of the episode. First of all, with the whole reference to the Spearow attack during the very first Pokemon episode, which in my opinion was was a really nice touch. And then of course, the really heartwarming reunion between Ash and Pikachu, where Ash himself even admitted that he made Pikachu feel lonely. Even though, like I stated before, I also understand Ash's mindset in regards of Riolu. But still, he admitted that he kinda screwed up and even said that Kwaru scolded him for making Pikachu feel jealous. Which in my opinion is also a nice touch, because in my opinion addressing the issue from last week's episode shows some kind of continuity within the anime. And I really like that. So to sum it all up, I kinda like the beginning of the episode where Ash paid his attention to Riolu and I also liked the ending with Ash's reunion with Pikachu but the rest in my opinion was pretty decent to average at best and therefore I had to cut off some points which still leads to a decent 6 out of 10. What can I say about the focus? The reluctant Pikachu and the exasperated Mr. Mime is the title of the episode and it kinda confused me. Exasperated is just another word for angry or pissed off and to me Mr. Mime never really seemed to be angry at all. For the most part of the episode he supported Pikachu as good as possible while Pikachu himself seemed to be the one who was the more exasperated one compared to Mr. Mime. Also in my opinion the title also implies that the main focus of the episode was the middle part with the journey of Pikachu and Mr. Mime and in my opinion it's not really the case. Like last week's episode the main theme to me was the whole concept of jealousy and feeling left behind. But I guess they couldn't make this week's title the same as last week's but in my opinion they still missed the mark with this title a lot. So another 5 out of 10. Last but not least, animation. Unlike last week's episode, this week's animation was really good. I really liked the beginning parts of the episode with Riolu's numerous short battles against all kinds of Pokemon, especially his short battle against Ghost Farfetch'd, really well done animated by Sotaro Shiraishi. Furthermore, during the whole adventure part, there was a certain running animation of both Pokemon which really stood out and, in my opinion, was also done very well and really fluently by Hiroaki Takagi. And last but not least, of course, the Spearow attack and the reunion of Ash and Pikachu was also another animation highlight but sadly I didn't know who did that but as soon as I will find it out I will give credit like always. What also really stood out in this episode was not only the animation but especially the music during the more dramatic overtoned scene because the music really underlined that there is some kind of conflict between not only Pikachu and Ash but also within Pikachu himself and the music really underlined that well. And with that all in mind I can't help but to give the animation and everything else an 8 out of 10. So this leads to a decent 6.33 out of 10 as a final score and I will still recommend this episode just for the beginning and the end part of the episode. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this rather short review. Tell me your opinion about this episode and just like always, I see you guys in the comments down below. Bye guys!